In February, the Alaska School Activities Association announced that Anchorage would once again host the state wrestling championships, spurning a bid to host the event here in Fairbanks. We have done a lot of work to send this proposal and they made us believe that we would at least get two years and um, it ended up being nothing. Those who put this bid together felt like it was a no-brainer and even had the Carlson Center booked up to host the event and major sponsors lined up, which would have covered the costs. Oh, I thought our proposal was a slam dunk. Instead, the ASA board chose to hold the event in Anchorage yet again, an option which was apparently the more expensive of the two. I was able to see the Alaska Airlines Center bid compared to our bid, and money-wise, we would have saved ASA money on the facility cost and, and kind of upfront cost. It looked like their bid was around 20000 and ours was a little over fifteen. So theirs was even more, uh, more expensive. So why take the more expensive option at a time when cutting costs seems to be at the center of every decision? One ASA representative has his theory on why the board made that call. State wrestling is unique in the fact that it is really statewide and lots of schools participate that would, you know, if it was in Fairbanks, for instance, all, a lot of schools would fly into Anchorage and then fly up to Fairbanks. And that was, I, I believe, their big um, reason for awarding it to the Alaska Airlines Center. While it indeed does cost schools more money to travel to Fairbanks instead of Anchorage, this was something that the group had considered. And through Explore Fairbanks, they created deals on travel and lodging for the teams coming up for state. Helen Renfrew over at um, Explore Fairbanks put together some great packages with ho local hotels. Our hotel pricing and car rental pricing was, was cheaper than Anchorage, but still there's some airfare costs for those schools. And so I think the schools uh, voted to keep it in Anchorage, you know, because they thought it was going to be a little bit more cost to their individual schools. So I, th I think that's how they vote sometimes. Our concern is it's just as expensive for us and our teams to fly to Anchorage. Um, as it is for Anchorage to fly up here because we also have to go to Anchorage more often to get more competition. This is quite a big missed opportunity for the city of Fairbanks. State championship tournaments such as wrestling and basketball are huge for local economies. According to Explore Fairbanks, each wrestling tournament would have brought in an estimated $576,000 into the community. Now all this group can do is wait three years for another chance to bring the state's largest wrestling tournament into the interior. We're going to continue to put in great bids and, and hopefully to get some of these bigger tournaments. We're appreciative of the, the tournaments that we, we're getting here in Fairbanks, but we'd like to see wrestling or basketball come back to Fairbanks. We would probably do a better tournament than what Anchorage does just because of our wrestling population and the people that support wrestling up here are so dynamic. I think we would we would run such a fantastic tournament that people will probably ask us to do it again. This is Devin Fry reporting.